guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're brand new. I'm talking about a few different products today that I think can really help if you're in the same struggle that I am. Um, I am currently not dealing with but I'm currently kind of finally finding how to manage my hair and how to kind of make it pretty and not so you know as a hot mess and not always having to wear it in a bun or up in a ponytail 24 7 because it really sucks having to do that so if you do have the same hairstyle as me um which is super thick and curly then i do recommend you stay and watch this video even if you don't maybe some of these products you see may be something that you want to try they're not necessarily just for curly hair, but this video in particular is for people who do have curly hair and or really thick hair or both because that's what I have so I can kind of guide you better than if you have like straight hair or you know pin straight hair or really fine hair because I don't have that kind of hair so I wouldn't want to recommend it if I'm not too sure if it's going to work for you or not. So the first product that I have is a spray gel. Um, it's it's from Herbal Essence, but I'm not really recommending like that you have to do like this certain brand. This is just the brand that I found that works good for me. So it's a spray gel. It's from the product line, I guess. Um, Tossle Me Softly. That's the little bottle right there. It is a number three hold, which I do recommend if you have hair just like mine. Um, any product, any hair product that's a level three will work really, really well. Because if you do um, a level up, which is a 4, then it's going to be too harsh on your hair. And if you do any other like level lower, then it's not going to work the way that it should be. So 3 is kind of like your sweet spot right in the middle. So this is a spray gel. It works just like a mousse would to make your hair lightweight and still curly and still like manageable. So this is just a kind of like a more convenient way or an easier way if you don't really want to wear mousse or if you're kind of weary about wearing mousse, whatever. All you do is when your hair is wet, you just spray it all over your hair, scrunch it a little bit, and you're good to go. So I'm not too sure. Again, if any other brands have spray gel, I'm going to look now because I, I've kind of always just bought the Herbal Essence one because I know they have it. But if somebody else does have it, I will let you guys know so that you have a little bit more of an option choice. Um, the next one that I have is also for um, uh, Herbal Essence. It's the Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. And so like I said, you can also use mousse. I prefer using mousse because I it makes my hair come out kind of like it is today. I just like the definition of the curls and everything that it does for my hair in particular. So for me, I, I like using um, mousse, but it's kind of just like... Um, a hit or miss or kind of experimental kind of thing that you kind of have to look to see if, if you're really going to like mousse better or if you're going to like the spray gel better. Um, either one, it's kind of just whatever's your, your fancy. So this one again is a level 3 hold. It's supposed to have all day humidity protection and frizz control, which I will say that this one in particular does because my hair is not frizzy at all. It's just pure curl and this is my second day hair. So... If you do want to try this brand, I will tell you that it's a thumbs up, go get it. But if you do have another mousse, it works just as well. Um, because I do have another one that I use, which is the L'Oreal Paris one, which works really well. I like that one just as much. It does the same thing. No like frizzing, frizzing or anything like that. So both of them are really, really good. You can go and try those two if you're not too sure where to go or you don't really know what mousse to buy first. Those are two options. Um, the next thing that I have is a hairspray. This is from Herbal Essence, the Set Me Up Hairspray. All I recommend in the hairspray line or part, whatever, um, is that you use a level two, which is a medium hold, because again, it's like the sweet spot. It's not too harsh on your hair, and it's not gonna make your hair really sticky or gross, because if your hair is thick, um, then you will get a lot of product buildup. So if you use anything that's too harsh, it's just going to make the product build up a lot worse. This one in particular, of course, it's still kind of like gross. You still have to wash it out um, the day after you use it. 
but it's not too harsh to where your hair is going to be like glued and not go anywhere whatsoever for like 48 hours or something like that. So it's a good product if you're trying to use a curling wand or if you're straightening your hair. This is really good because it's going to keep it um, whole. It's going to hold it like you want it. But it's not going to ruin your hair or make it feel really nasty, which is not what you're trying to do. You just want your hair to be styled. So this is a good, um, I lost my words, a good product to use. So another product that I recommend using is a dry shampoo because you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. If you didn't know, most people already do, but if you didn't, there you go. You're not supposed to wash it every day. So you need a dry shampoo. I haven't used any other brand of, sh of dry shampoo. So the only thing that I can tell you about dry shampoo is this brand is really good. It's the Not Your Mother's Clean Free Dr uh, Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And it works really well, soaks up the oil in your hair, makes it more uh, manageable and easier to style when you have like the in-between time where you gotta like you can't wash your hair but it's kind of gross and there's not really much you can do with it except put it in a bun this takes out all the oil so at least your bun is not gross and your hair doesn't look like it's really dirty even though it kind of is and so the last product that i have a yes you should use it and no you shouldn't use it kind of relationship with it because um, if you do just use this product to curl your hair and style it, uh, your hair is going to end up being very crunchy and um, not really like the lightweight curl that you may be trying to achieve. So if you are trying to achieve like the lightweight natural looking curl, I wouldn't recommend using a harsh gel like this because it's going to make it really brittle and hard. But if you are trying to... Um, put it in a ponytail or like a really slick bun whichever and you know you get those little curly hairs that pop up because it kind of just pulls out of your your ponytail or whatever this is really good for that to make your hair look maybe a little bit more professional or whatever you're trying to achieve um, it's really good for that so i do have one recommendation for styling your hair if you have thick and curly hair like I do and you maybe work or are trying to work out or whatever the case may be and you know that it gets very hot when you have your hair down like I have it right now. I'm not outside, thank God, so it's not hot right now. But if I were to go outside or to go run around, go do some errands, whatever, um, I definitely will get very, very hot very quickly. So I found that using a headband like this, which is just like the stretchy like sports band headbands and bobby pinning it to your hair so that your hair does not pop it out, it does work very well. It, ha it helps get the like hair out of your face so that you can still work and do what you got to do, but you can still wear your hair curly and feel confident in the fact that your hair is um, tamed and you know, you can still do your everyday stuff with your hair down. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope some of the products that... That was weird. Sorry guys, I have my dogs next door so they're like in the next room. That's funny, you can like hear them like through the door. Anyway, um... Yeah, so that's, I hope some of the products help you guys in kind of understanding how to style your hair because I know for a long time that my hair was really awful and trying to style it and it was just terrible. Um, I went from having long hair to having short hair and hoping that something in between would solve my issue somehow, some way. So, yeah, um, all my social media is going to be below like always. I will try to link um, all of the products in case you want to see them like online, maybe see some reviews or maybe just see some other products that are not the brand that I talked about in this video, whichever. Um, check the description box for all like the details and stuff like that. And if you have questions that maybe I didn't answer in the video or product um, questions or anything like that that I didn't answer in the video, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will reply to you like ASAP because I'm always replying to comments on my videos. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.